thin white women are starting to be the new face of body positivity. I think in the industry they, they choose a more palatable kind of black or brown. Why is my body not as important? Enam, Kayla, Liza, Naomi and Vanessa are plus sized models. They believe they're treated differently in the industry and the body positivity movement. I took part in a advert. I became friends with one of the uh, actresses on the set and we started talking about pay. And I found out that I got two brand less than everyone else. And I was the main, one of the main people in the advert. It just diminished my part, but I was used in the whole thing. So yeah, it wasn't How great. How did it make you feel? Crap. What are your general feelings about the body positivity movement? Well, it's more than just the body. Body positivity has hit the mainstream in a big way. But did you know it has its roots in fat acceptance? That was a radical and political movement born in the 60s, promoting the civil rights of fat people in the United States. It was essential for passing legislation against the discrimination of individuals because of their size. Fat acceptance was also adopted by radical feminists in the 60s and 70s, and that's because of an emerging diet industry that some say, rather than addressing health, was actually playing on women's insecurities. The diet suite. To help stay slim. The global weight loss industry was estimated to be worth $168.95 billion in 2016 and projected to reach a value of $278.95 billion at the end of 2023. Despite rising profits, the diet industry has been forced to reinvent itself, swapping weight loss for wellness as body positivity moves into the mainstream. As body positivity grows in popularity, some believe it excludes people already maligned by mainstream beauty standards. I actually didn't realise that body positivity was started by, by fat black women and that it was for marginalised bodies. And when I start talking about it, I'm like shut down. It's like, oh, but you're diminishing other people's um, right to be body positive. Instagram happened and that has been really transformative and it's been fun but it's also been damaging at the same time. Fat black women were like no this is a movement for me to celebrate because I know that the way I look is not accepted. Going out of my way to be positive about how I feel about myself because every other struggle in this world is not working out you know. There's so many other things that are going on. I've had first-hand experiences of minding my own business at a bus stop and somebody shouting out their car, calling me fat and then chucking milkshake at me. I don't see why people, you know, in the public feel that they can approach me, touch me, you know, shout things at me just because I'm fat or just because I'm black. I feel like fat um, black women are treated as very, are seen as asexual within society at large. So if they speak on anything that affects how people perceive them to their sexuality, femininity, we're just not heard. You know the concept of like mom, the mummy image, mm -hmm. and they say that oh, they every time you see a black woman, it's the mummy image. The mummy figure is rooted in slavery in the United States. You can see it in literature, in films, through figurines, through racist memorabilia that often show very dark-skinned women, uh, hair wrapped, uh, larger uh, figure. It's one of the earliest versions and stereotypes of um, women who were often just seen in this very superficial, one-dimensional tone, devoid of any personal desires. Kayla, a host of TV show The Naked Beach, believes her experience with Stylist, a women's magazine, is an example of how black plus-sized women are ignored. They wanted to talk to me about body confidence and how, you know, naked bodies is kind of a trending thing. They felt that it wasn't important to include my photo. And everyone's photo that they included was a white woman. If you're going to do an article about my experience and everyone else's, why is my body not as important to put in? Especially where I'm the only person of colour, I'm the only black woman that was interviewed. So what do I now do? Do I speak up? Yeah. If I speak up, I look like the angry black woman. I look like the aggressor. Yeah. You know, if I don't speak up, then nothing changes. It's very important to have diversity, but what does diversity actually mean? If you're not thinking in that way to represent all, or if you're not thinking that other people that don't look like you are, you know, are valid, then you're not going to hire other people that are not like you, and there isn't going to be much perspective in the decisions that are made. When it comes to plus size, I think things are really, particularly with modeling, things are shifting. I think that Lizzo being kind of the mainstream artist and having all these messages in her music and wearing whatever the hell she wants to is kind of changing the scope of how certain brands 
pick plus size models. We should all be represented no matter what we look like. Everybody's story deserves to be told because they are worthy and they are part of the way in which the world works.